So this is uh, our first collaborative display. Uh, we're calling it Operation Sukhobliat, which uh, is a, a very rude Russian term, but it was a collaboration between me and three other builders, one of whom is holding the camera right now. Um, so uh, there's a total of six gray base plates. I contributed uh, this section here um, and the little shed. Uh, Elijah over yonder contributed uh, these middle uh, green base plates and this aircraft. Uh, the man holding the camera did this building. And uh, there is a guy who is not in attendance, um, but he contributed a lot of amazing customized figures. Um, we've been having a lot of trouble with this radio tower here. Uh, it's been knocked over twice during public hours and uh, four times during uh, private hours. Uh, and I think it looks cool, but that coolness is... Uh, it's, it, it is put into question when I have to spend 20 minutes restringing the wires. I agree with that statement. Now, uh, this is a very large build. Uh, it would be really cool if you could walk me from one side to the other and give a little bit of a rundown of the different action sequences and things we're watching take place. Um, so we'll start over here. Um, this is sort of like a... We're referring to the guys in the green as NATO forces, so this is a NATO uh, base or staging area. So there's a couple guys on the roof there. Um, one guy has a mounted gun, another guy has a marksman's rifle, and they are, I would suppose, providing a covering fire. And then down here you have uh, people starting to move out. There's a wounded guy on the stretcher here. Um, over here is a, a helicopter that I built, and we have uh, some sort of special forces looking guys uh, disembarking from that dragging a, a wounded and unfortunately legless man if you move over in this direction uh, there's some some guys firing uh, we have a dude with a squad automatic weapon who's sort of covering this area uh, there's some more dudes around here there's a little bird helicopter flying by uh, and then in this area we have the main push of these sort of uh, generic Eastern European militia forces uh, we got our hands on some ice cream puffs, so we were to cr able to create the illusion of a, of a RPG being fired. Got some backblast too. Uh, and those guys are moving out, and we have more dudes moving out over here. Uh, we have Brick Mania's uh, Waldo for their Where's Waldo event. Um, and lastly, at the bottom of the radio tower, we have some more of those NATO special operation guys who appear to be uh, sneaking up on the uh, militia forces. There's one unfortunate guy uh, being attacked by knife. That is a lot of, uh, a lot of action. Yeah, this is my first uh, experience with a really large scale build. So uh, we toyed around a lot with creating interesting action sequences, trying to tell little stories uh, with the actions or poses of certain figures. But I had a lot of fun with that. Definitely. It's, uh, it's really fun to just kind of look at it. And now that you've explained all the things going on, I'm really kind of amazed by uh, how much is packed into it. Now, uh, one of the questions I always have with a display like this, uh, it's become readily apparent to me that things like brick arms and brick mania uh, are really great about sort of giving uh, military builders and builders interested in depicting like historical army type scenes. Uh, like sort of a boost uh, by either giving them ideas for vehicle designs or custom elements. Uh, could you give a little bit of a run through of uh, maybe uh, what brick, brick Mania sets up here and here or uh, custom elements from Brick Arms, uh, Modern Brick Warfare, what have you? Um, so there's no Brick Mania sets in here. Um, I totally respect Brick Mania, but as a military builder, uh, and building a lot of vehicles. I feel like buying Brick Mania vehicles would be a little redundant. Uh, Roll your own, right? <laughs> yeah, but they do make impressive kits. Um, but there's a ton of custom elements on the figures. Uh, the standards for the NATO forces uh, are all uh, minifig.cat items, so they have custom vests, helmets, and uh, headsets. Uh, those were bought at Modern Brick Warfare. Um, and there are brick arms in the hands of the majority of the soldiers here. Um, and some of Kalen's figures use uh, a pretty wide variety of customized elements. So you can see on this guy, I think that might be a tiny tactical. He's got his own, excuse me, his own muzzle brake and foregrip, uh, an optic. 
And we also uh, actually received a sponsorship from Victor of Eclipse Graphics. So uh, these figures here are custom printed by Victor uh, to suit our needs, uh, as well our collaboration brick is also uh, printed by Victor, and we were really lucky to receive those because I think they added a lot to the uh, overall layout. Definitely. Now, um, one of the last uh, remaining questions I have is, uh, in a collaboration, there are always things that go really, really right and really, really wrong. Uh, just that tends to be the nature of collaboration. What's the one sort of uh, tactic or organizational methodology that you utilize to make this collaboration a success, like um, weekly meetings leading up to the convention, things like that? Um, well, I'd say the most important tactic for success was just constant communication, especially between Elijah and I. Whenever we had a question about something on our layout or how we should build something, uh, we stayed in touch with each other, which I think was really important because we had sort of a good idea of what we'd be working with. Um, what would be present. And we actually had a, we were scheduled to have one more person who was going to contribute two base plates, uh, but he dropped out, so we're missing a section. So that was maybe, you were talking about stuff going wrong. Yeah, that is sort of what happened there. But I think communication and being able to plan things uh, beforehand so you're not leaving anything to the last minute is really important. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, wonderful collaboration. Uh, really cool to see things like this. Thanks for talking to me.